Bad blood between these two legendary squads was on full display December 5, 1975, before 10,700 fans in Houston's Summit. The high-flying Jets and the hard-nosed Arrows squared off in a game that featured a season's worth of excitement, plot twists, and suspense. In all, over 30 penalties for a total of 100 minutes were called. Moreover, two players were rejected for charging at referee Ron Asselstein, who then resigned immediately after the game. Ultimately, this spirited contest was decided by a miraculous comeback, capped by a winning goal scored by a player who had zero goals at that point of the season and would not score again for over two years. Hedberg moving in with Hall, a pass for Hall right in, a shot, he scores! Bobby Hall gets career goal number 801 as he split that Houston defense and walked in and scored on a low backhanded shot that beat Graham cleanly and the Jets take a 1-0 lead. And so lightning, lightning strikes again in the summit. Uh, early period, first period goal, Jerry. I don't know how many times it's happened this season, but it seems to be coming ahead. Has it for the Arrows. Trying to move it out. He does the center, ragging that puck. The Arrows captain. Now to Paul Popeil. Paul Popeil in across the line. Drops it for Schella. Now centers Hall in front to Taylor. Paul Popeil, a shot. He scores! Paul Popeil scores a shorthanded goal for the Arrows. And the game is tied at 1-1. That puck was bouncing every which way in the jet zone. Finally, Popeil got it and fired it in on the short side to tie the game at 1-1. Jet zone, it's shot away by Winnipeg. Green, got it to Hedberg. Up on right wing for Nilsson. Oh, and he is bumped by Hines. Here's Hedberg right in across the line. Check, Green with it. In on goal, a shot deflected, hit the post, rebound. Oh, what a stop by Graham. They're going to call it a goal. They're going to call it a goal. The red light never went on. And the arrows are going to argue the point as Hedberg hit the post and rolled in. And referee Ron Asselstein calls it a goal. And we'll take a look at this one. It did hit the far post. And as it was going across, it looked like Ronnie Graham scooped it out of there. Referee Ron Asselstein was right on the line. But the goal judge did not indicate that it went in. That's his job. He's right. Here's Hall at the left point. Still with that puck. Looking to make a play in the corner for Nilsson. Nilsson tried to center it. Hale broke it up. Graham comes out, pokes it to the corner. Larry Hale up with it. Got it to Mark Howe. Mark for the arrows. To Paul Popeil with one man back. Here's Popeil. Long drive off the skate of forward. It goes into the corner. And the Jets have to go back. Anders Hedberg starting with that power play rush for Winnipeg. Ahead for Hull. Cruising in on left wing. Hull drops it off. The arrows take it away. Larry Hale lost it. Now clears it to the corner. He's bumped by Hedberg. No penalty call. Here's Ford closing in. Fakes a shot. Takes it. The puck loose. They score. As Graham came away out, they lost the puck. And now the arrows are going to argue. Here comes Graham. Graham after the referee. Ron Asselstein pushes at him. And Graham's going to get a misconduct. Raises the stick. He's been kicked out of the game. Graham's been kicked out of the game as he is infuriated at the referee. Now Hale and Laraway come over and intercept Ron Graham who is really upset here, and now Graham gets loose from Larry Hale, and Graham's going to the showers early as he's been kicked out. The Euros are arguing the penalty calls here by Asselstein. I think Graham was saying the Winnipeg player was in the crease, and he's heading for the referee again, and Ted Taylor tackles Graham, and Ronnie is really upset. He's quite a gentleman, and you really know he has to be upset to be going at it the way he is, and he breaks loose from Taylor. He's going to the Arrows dressing room. The Arrows trailing three to one, and Graham gets a hand from the crowd, and Wayne Rutledge will be coming in to play goal for the Arrows, and what's going to happen here next? Face off, Larson sets it up for Lars Eric Schoberg. He clears it for Bowden. He lost it to Paul Popeil, up for Preston. Preston clears it into the jet zone. Schoberg missed it, goes back against Laraway, who drives him into the end boards. Ruskowski up with that puck. Terry looking to make a play. Gordy Howe a shot. He scores! Gordy Howe scores for the Arrows. And that cuts the Winnipeg lead to three to two. A good play by Laraway in the corner. He took out Schoberg. Ruskowski got it to Gordy Howe, who flipped the low one into the net. A power play goal cuts the Jets' lead to three to now two. Now goes in against Gordy Howe. Gordy ties up Lesouk. Lesouk cleared at the center, then took a bump by Gordy Howe. He's going to get a penalty. Play is called. High sticking and 
Gordy can't believe it, got 10 now from the referee, pushes the referee and he kicks Gordy Howe out of the game. Gordy's been kicked out of the game and now Marty Howe comes over after the referee and Marty pushes at the linesman, Ted Taylor's after him and- I tell you, if he kicks him out of the game, he's, he's in gone. trouble. He's already gone, he kicked him out. Well, that'll do it. That'll break all heck loose here now. Marty Howe is saying, look at the replay. He's showing him the tell screen saying, look at the replay. That was no penalty. I'd have to say that was a questionable call. And the ice is being littered with debris and now now I more debris coming down and it's... Jerry, I mentioned earlier, you cannot call a hockey game that close. That's getting like, it's like a player playing chippy. Every official cannot call. If you call a game that close, you're just gonna get resentment from the, from the players and you're gonna cause yourselves more aggravation than it's worth. Trying to get it to Larry Lund, now checks Nilsson. Nilsson tied up by Glenn Irwin, who gives him a rough ride. Larry Lund got a headlock on him. Here comes Hull, in for Schoberg. Back to Hull, a shot. Runledge, a miraculous save. Runledge made a super save. And here's the arrows pouring it out for Larry Lund. Now up for Andre Hines. Hines in across the line to Larry Lund. Couldn't get to it. Now he's up with that puck to Glenn Irwin. Irwin pokes it in. He's checked by Nilsson. Here's Hall in against Hines. Hines knocked down. Irwin in there. Checks forward. Larry Lund pokes it loose, but here comes Nilsson. Whacked it by Larry Lund, who's going to get a penalty. Here comes Hall in. A shot. He scores! Bobby Hall gives the Jets their two-goal lead once again as he walked in on left wing and beat Rutledge with a low shot that seemed to fool the Houston goaltender, and that gives the Jets a 4-2 lead to John Shellett. Shella up for Labossier. Labossier in across the line, over to Taylor. Taylor in front for Hall, a shot, stop, they score! The arrow score! Corey Hall and Labossier were there, and don't go away yet. The arrows cut the Jets' lead to four to three with a minute 23 left. From the summit, this is Houston Arrows Hockey. Now here's Hall in for Winnipeg, going for the hat trick, a shot blocked by Shella. Another try by Hall is wide. It winds up outside the line. Here's Labossier racing after it. Labossier in, looking for help. Now to Marty Howe, a shot. Taylor shoots over the top of the net. The arrows battle for it. They score! They score! They score! Taylor got it! Taylor got it! The arrows tie it! They're going wild in the summit! The arrows tie it! The place erupts! They're coming off the bench as the arrows tie it! Ted Taylor gets the goal, the game is tied at 4-4, 59 seconds left, and this place is in a bedlam. Keep it going, keep it going, do you believe it? <laughs> 59 seconds, you can't let up now. I'll tell you, this game may be going into overtime. What a play by the Arrows veteran line. Lavoisier, a try, it went over the back of the goal. Murray Hall battled for it. Great. Got it in front, Taylor let it go and score it. They're giving the Arrows a standing ovation, and I tell you, they get the goosebumps all over the body and the tingles down the spine. I tell you, they were all standing up here in the summit. The veteran line, who's played so strong this season, and they came up with two late in the third period goals to bring this game to four to four and 59 seconds left. And I'll tell you, this game could go right down. It's gone. Into From overtime. Nielsen in a shot. That's off a leg. It goes to the corner. Irwin in against Hedberg. Now Murray Hall for Taylor. He got it outside the line. Taylor with that puck for the arrows. Ahead for Labossier. Here he comes. Trying to get around the defense. In on goal to Hall. The puck is loose. Covered up now by the Jets. And play is called as they pile up around that Winnipeg goal. And oh, they almost got another one. Unbelievable action tonight. Unbelievable. Moving down that left side, and he put a couple of moves on a defenseman and almost worked his way into that net. I almost thought he was going to get a penalty call there in that one. Those last two goals within 24 seconds. Here's a faceoff to the right of Larson. They get the draw to Frank Hughes. Backhanded shot. It's blocked. Larry Lund in the corner. He looks to make a play. He's tied up. There'll be a faceoff. Five seconds left in regulation time. 
We're tied at four and four, and suddenly the pendulum has swung over. So the momentum Hall. with the arrows. Maury Hall picking up a goal at 1837, and then Teddy Taylor at 1901. Larry Lund on the draw against Mats Lind. Now Lind a little over anxious. They drop the puck, Larry Hale shoots, he scores! Larry Hale, Larry Hale scores! Larry Hale scores! They're coming off the bench! They're coming off the bench! And who, who would have thought Larry Hale? Larry Hale gets his first goal, and they all come off the bench. Phil Denis is laughing over at the Arrows bench. Two seconds left in the hockey game, and this place is in a bedlam. Larry Hale scores. The Heroes are gonna win it five to four and the Jets are dejected. Oh, what a game by the Arrows. Bill Deneen, pass Larry Hale, the Bossier jumps on top of him. Who would have thought Larry Hale? Here's the announcement. His first of the year. What a time to get it. What a time to get it. They're standing and cheering. I've never seen a more exciting hockey game. Unbelievable. Oh, thrown out early in the hockey game. R Ron Graham thrown look out. Look at that arrow's bench. Look at that bench. They look like they just won the championship. They're pounding on Hale. The puck has dropped. The game is over. The arrows win. The arrows win. They come off and congratulate Wayne Rutledge. What a victory by the arrows. They trailed all night. Hit Gordy Howe. Ron Graham kicked out of that game. And that bunch of Houston Arrows is a happy hockey club. They skate off. They go to the dressing room, having beaten the Winnipeg Jets by a score of five to four in one of the most unbelievable, exciting, thrilling, down to the wire finishing hockey games you've ever seen. Thanks for watching this episode of PHA TV. Please hit the subscribe button and never miss a classic hockey video.